hi everyone welcome again to my channel so the days are getting longer and it's getting much much warmer and it's time to start preparing the garden for spring in this video i'm going to be working here in the front yard planting transplanting bulbs in the hydrangea border that i created back in winter and also um, working on my spring containers so let's take a look <laughs> Here are some of the plants that I'm going to be using in this project today. I have the sweet peas here that I sold indoor and over here is the crown imperial bulb that I received from my mother-in-law. So what I'm going to be doing today is going to be uh, transplanting these bulbs in this container. Uh, I planted them back in fall and today uh, I'm going to be potting them up and putting them in places that I think um, they'll look more beautiful. So I think I'm going to go without the, the pots themselves. I'm just going to put the bulbs in directly and hope for the best. So this is a special mix of double tulips. So yesterday, while I was working on the border, I kind of realized that I don't have enough bulbs to go around. Um, so I'm going to be using the daffodils today that I have in these pots, just a few around there, just to make, um, make it look more full. This is a mix of fragrant daffodils that I also ordered online and they come in different colors. So I have the daffodils in now. So I think this border is done as far as the bulbs are concerned. And we just have to wait and see now how they bloom. What I'm going to be doing now is working on my flower pot arrangements around here. And the goal would be to have something similar to what I've already put in place on this side where I've used my hibiscus topiary in uh, this grey pot here with some pansies and uh, some of my <laughs> sweet peas that, I've, that I sold in those. I'm testing that. So, And over here I have the spring flowers, the daffodils, the containers with daffodils here and up there we have the tulips and some of the crocuses that are already blooming. So I'm going to try to make this also for the other side over there. I initially tested this composition of plants in a terracotta pot, but I wasn't quite happy and I prefer it in this gray container. The hibiscus topiary is going to bloom in summer. However, it's going to build up foliage in the springtime and that will go quite well with uh, whatever is at the bottom of the container, I think. So I ended up using just the pansies in this container and setting up the spring flowers. And what I'm going to be doing now is potting up this crown imperial. Yeah, I need to repot it in a bigger container to ensure that it has enough room to grow. The crown imperial is a gift that I got from my mother-in-law. It's supposed to be this lily looking flower that can grow up to about 1 meter 20 and it starts blooming from April to May depending on the, the fertility of the soil in which it's planted. So here we have it. These are the first containers for spring that I've put together and I'm looking forward to seeing how they, they kind of settle in and bloom and look beautiful. <laughs> Loving the primroses. Um, they, they bring in that spring, that beautiful spring color. And uh, on this side, I chose to, to, to use three colors which are quite different. We're going to have to wait and see how that is all coming together. And these pansies here, so I hope that they'll stay up and keep showing those big blooms. And my hibiscus topiary that I got on sale for, um, back in, in fall, so I'm looking forward to seeing how this fills up and provide all those beautiful blooms. Uh, by then I'll have to, of course, switch the down part of it and put in some something that might be more um, seasonal when they start blooming. So that is it on this side. And I have the same setup over here. Here I chose to use different uh, primroses. And here I chose to go completely with the uh, with the violas while I have the pansies on the other side. So this is the setup on this side. I need to water everything still, but i um, pretty happy with how everything is coming together. I need to clean that down there, but this is how it's going to be. So 
yeah and over here i have another hibiscus topiary that i put in a in a different container with some uh, pansies all of these no actually these are violas these violas they come from the border over there the violas that i've used here they all come from the border because i'm beginning to clean up that border and i'm using some of the flowers in the container arra arrangements and the tulips that i have here this is a bunch of tulips that i collected from the hedge they used to grow inside the hedge there back when i didn't have the flower uh, the hydrangea flower border and I, I i just took them out yesterday and potted them up put them in here and i hope that they'll make the transition and see provider some blooms i'm pretty much going to be oh look at that oh my goodness oh that is beautiful that is a beautiful bloom full of seeds hmm i've never seen that before but i'm going to be moving these pots the helleboros towards the back i don't know if i'm going to take them out of the containers this one especially i'd like to keep this basket here for the spring season but i might have to remove the helleboros and uh, put them plant them in the back where we have a, a cooler where we have cooler temperatures year round that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching and see you now next one bye bye